Hello. Uh, before I get rolling, I want to say what a privilege it is to be here with so many fans and so many great songwriters and to be part of this evening. So I'm going to tell a few stories about Neil Young that probably nobody's ever heard before. Being in Winnipeg in the 60s was absolutely amazing. Winnipeg was the dead center of Manitoba. Manitoba was the dead center of Canada. Canada was like it was the middle of North America and also was the middle of nowhere. So being in Winnipeg, you stayed indoors a lot in the winter and you rock and rolled. And the rock and roll bands were Neil Young and the Squires. I was in a band called Chad Allen and the Reflections, who became the, the Guess Who. Burton Cummings had the Devrons, Neil Young and the Squires, Fred Turner and the Rockin' Devils. And we're still going today, the four of us from Winnipeg, and pretty much led by the master there, by Neil Young. <laughs> And we had, uh, Winnipeg was great, the drinking age was 21, so when you played a high school or community center dance, everybody under 21 came. So you had like six, seven, eight hundred kids at a dance. Even the nightclubs downtown, they didn't serve liquor, everybody went to those. And I remember seeing Neil at the Hungry Eye and the, the Twilight Zone and places like that. We had three great radio stations, CKY, CKRC, and C CJOB. And every morning at quarter to eight on CJOB, they had a program called Beefs and Bouquets. And people would phone in. So if you had a beef about something, you called in and complained that your, the guy didn't shovel the snow, you know, the snow blower off your driveway. Or if the Blue Bombers won a game, you gave a bouquet. So I'm listening to this at quarter to eight every morning with my mother. And then when that was done, we'd switch to the rock stations. So we're listening to Beefs and Bouquets. And this voice comes on and says, I just want to give a bouquet to Neil Young and the Squires who played last night at you know, Community Center. And they're just a great band and he's going somewhere, he's gonna be a star. And I say to my mother, wow, that's amazing. This guy's this good that someone's phoning the radio station. He must have a fan club president. She said, that's Rassie, his mother. <laughs> <laughs> After that next week and the next Monday, the phone rings again. I mean, she phones in again. Neil was just great last week. And so I got my mother to start phoning in the same, <laughs> the same my band was great. Then Rhoda Cummings started phoning in for Burton Cummings. And we all had our mothers phoning the radio station. <laughs>